Hey folks, just a quick mod on Danny's day out at the moment. Um, I'm going to be wiring in our heated grips to only run on ignition feed. Currently they're just wired straight to the battery. Now the DR650 has two ignition feed sources that you can use from factory. Um, one of them is under the seat and it is usually kicking around down here. So this plug here is an ignition feed. It's got a live in earth. So it's got 12 volts ignition feed. There's also one under the front headlight curling in here and the bunch of wires at the front. If you open up, there's another plug that looks exactly the same as that. And as you can see at the moment, our heated grips are wired directly to battery. I purchased these plugs here from a website called Eastern Beaver. I'll link it in the description. They're not very dear at all. Um, you sell some, I think I, I bought four of them, so I've already done this to my DR. I'm going to do it onto here by the terminals and the plugs. And that means I can just plug straight in. You can cut the wires, cut the plug off and just solder the wires onto there. Um, I'd rather just do it just do it right and I can unplug different accessories in as I see fit. Right, so I've got my two ends here off the, the battery terminals here. And you just want to snip them off. Now you want to keep the fuse that was originally in there, the inline fuse in there. You want to keep that. That circuit is fused but it could be on a different amperage than what your actual accessory is. So you always want to keep your accessories separately fused in there. If you sheath the wire, and you stick your terminal on there. These are just a cheap pair of pliers from Bunnings. I mean, they do a not bad job. Not a brilliant job, but a not bad job. Now just got to do the same to the negative. Now with my DR, I've got my sat nav in up the under the headlight, and down here I've got my heated grips. Just grab your plug, figure out which one goes what. So the live one is the orange wire on your factory wiring, and then your live one's obviously the one with the fuse in it. So just shove that in until you hear a click, and then send the negative. Make sure they don't pull out. And then just plug them in. Just make sure it's going to work. So if it doesn't work at the moment. Ignition on and it works. Perfect. There you go folks, that's a simple cheap mod you can do to your DR. Um, it keeps it looking neat and factory under there. It saves you having to cut wires everywhere, which I really don't like. And it means you can't forget to turn it off when you switch your ignition off, which is always handy. Um, I'll leave links in the description where you can buy them. They're cheap. You've just got to wait and they'll come from Japan. So I think it took three or four weeks to come to New Zealand, which wasn't too bad. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.